Welcome back to Websites for Beginners. Hi, I'm JB and hope you are going well. In this video, we'll be looking at the Unfold widget, which is an extension for Elementor and you can use it in both Elementor Free and Pro. And this comes from Happy Add-ons. And if you'd like to know more about Happy Add-ons, remember to follow the link in the description below. I think you may have encountered something like Unfold or some call it Reveal. It's very easy to get your head around. We have these three cards here and at the bottom you have this read more. And we've seen read more on pages. It's been in blog posts. But what happens here, you can see there's a little bit of fall off, a transition fade effect there over the text. And as I click on read more, it opens up and you can read more. And then you have the option here to read less or close. And what is nice about this one, you can see you can apply it on a per column basis. Let's have a look at a few more. Okay, here we have recipes. And as you click on it, it doesn't give you a recipe. It gives you a price. You can order it. And here we have pricing. And I think you get the idea. The whole concept behind reveal or unfold is to free up some real estate on your website, give you a little bit more space, hide some stuff away, and actually encourages your visitor to click on something to find out more. A visitor that clicks leads to conversion. Yeah, not always. And I like this one a lot. As you hover over it, you're not even clicking. You can see how it unfolds. I like the word reveal. It's just my personal taste here. Let's go and see how it works in Elementor. Make sure that you have installed Happy Add-ons. And as far as I know, this is a pro widget. So you will need to get the pro version of this. But if you like to try out Happy Add-ons, you can get one of the free versions. I'm going to work with something very similar to what we have here under this back, backpack types. What I'll do is first add a new section. Let's go here. And then from our widgets, I'll search for Unfold. Here we go. Click and drag and drop it. You have two options. One gives you an editor. Go over here to the inspector on the left and you will see content source set to editor. And what it does, it gives you this editor here and basically anything you can do with text and then allows you to have this read more or read less function. Let's leave it like that and just look at how it functions because that's the most important part. And then after that, I'll come back and show you how to do something with content by using a template. First of all, at the top, you can give it a title. So I can say unfold demonstration. And then of course, give it a title like HTML tag. It's a H2 in this case. And then if you hop on over to styling in the back, you have the normal styling for your topography there. We're going to use the editor and you can align it to the left, which I like, but my layout for this page is actually center. Of course, also to the right. Let's put it back on the center. Then go to fold and unfold option. So click is the one where you click on it and you click on it. And then the other one is hover, which is that one I actually pretty much like. Please disable the button under button section. Having both button and trigger hover will make the button not functioning. <clears throat> not function. Let's go to button and disable it. Disable button. Yes. Right. And now it's purely hover. Very nifty. I like it. Interesting why these two are not linked, but we can go for the disable button. Let's put it back. Go to fold and unfold and put it back on click. Over here, you have the fold height. So currently set to 100 pixels, which means it's going to display 100 pixels of the content that you have in there. If I want a little bit more, let's type in 150 pixels and sit back and be amazed as it goes down a little bit more and give us more space. That's going to depend on the content you have in there as well as how much space you actually want to show. And then we have transition duration currently at 500 milliseconds which is a fancy terminology for half a second. So it takes half a second after I click on read more to open the rest. And then you have button over here, button position above content. We can put it there Zoom, and toggle it to put it again below. And then you have text here like read more. And then you have an icon, currently no icon. We can put an icon there. 
let's say binoculars, add that, insert. I have little binoculars there. Currently, the full text is set to read less. I'll change it to close. I think close makes a little bit more sense. Read more, and now it says close. And I can also put an icon for close. Icon position before or after. Now it's after. And then we have alignment of the button independently of the content. And Bob, Sally, that's how it works. Nothing spectacular. You can figure that out very quickly. But in most cases, I don't see you actually using the editor. You would want to put in something really snazzy in there, like these images we have. And what you do in this case is you go and create your section and then you save it as a template. So what I did previously, I took this section that was created here and you can just go and right click and then of course go to save as template and then save it into your library. Let's go back to content and where we see content source. This time we put it on template. It's going to remove the editor and then give you the option to select the template you want to use. And you can see I have two here. One is called Modern Shop CTA and then Backpack Styles. That's the one at the top. Click on that and not to be overly surprised, it drops it in there. But because of my fold unfold options, we cannot really see what's going on here. Let's go to fold and unfold. And now we are going to increase the fold height. I'm going to guess something like 700 pixels. Let's see how that works out for us. Pretty good, in fact. It gives us the whole thing which we don't want. So we can take it to a half of the 700. I'm going to put it at 350. And then it just cuts off above the headings of each of them. Good. Now when you click on Read More, it reveals Read More. The world's your oyster in this case because you can really put anything inside a section, right? So you can really put in sliders, there, tables, whatever you can think of, and then you bring it into the fold and unfold widget. One thing here, and that is going to be, let's close it, this transition of your fading area. That is going to happen under Style. Go to Style, and then under Box, you go here to overlay height and overlay color. Currently, it's set to 50. If we drag it all the way to 100, you will have the gradient from the bottom all the way to the top. At 50, it is around from here to here, so you have more opaque visibility at the top. And if I take it all the way to zero, you're going to have a hard cut here. Now, that's pretty nice for what I want to achieve here. I actually want people to look at the images and then click on read more and then it reveals the rest. And that's it. That's fold and unfold. Hope this was useful. See you in the next video. Go well and stay safe.